Yes, I'm here to make a complaint on an officer. Yes. Okay. Uh, Officer Horton. Horton? Z yes, ZH four six two. Okay. You have a seat on here. Okay. Thank you. How are you, Officer Rose? Are you taking my complaint today? Yes. Okay. I'm not his supervisor, but I'm supervisor today, so I will okay. help you however I can. Um, here it is. Um, I've written it out. I typed it out. If okay. you could read it to me so that I know you understand what it says. Sure. So there's no miscommunications or anything? Down? No problem, sir. I've been running all day, so no problem. the opportunity to sit down would be great. <laughs> all right. So you want me to just read this to you? I want to make sure that you understand. I want it to be clear that you understand what I wrote and I appreciate that. what it pertains to. All right. So you're wanting to make a formal complaint of Officer Horton, CH 462 of the Zebra Hills Police Department. Your, let's see, it says here, complaint is, complaint is that Officer Horton 462 violated the U.S. Constitution, including but not limited to my Fourth and Fourteenth Amendment rights. And also violated the Constitution of the State of Florida Constitution, including but not limited to Article 1, Sections 2, 4, 9, 12, and 23. Correct so far? Yes, sir. Uh, we got here on 7 22 at approximately 6 48 p.m. Uh, you witness Officer Horton 462 speak with a minor with his trunk open. When the minor noticed you, he asked Officer Horton what, were, what I guess what you were doing. Uh, when Horton 462 seen me filming his unusual activities with the minor, he hurried into his cruiser and drove it to me. When he was close to me, he turned his lights on and parked and exited the cruiser. I told him that his contact was not consensual and he stated, Do you see those lights? This isn't consensual. He stated that he stopped me because I was filming the kid. I asked if I was being detained and he said, Do you see the lights? When I asked him, do you, does that mean that I'm being detained? He stated, you are being detained right now while I'm trying to conduct an investigation of why you're filming a child. So he so continues on. He stated that he understands that I like to film police and make sure that they are doing their job correctly and efficiently and that he has no issue with that. Then he said, but in the process of filming, you're filming a child and he continued and all the interactions that you have had with law enforcement, that is the reason I came over here to speak with you, okay? And asked if I understood that. When he was told that I pled the fifth and reminded him that his contact with me was not consensual, he stated again that it is, that it isn't consensual and that this is not a consensual encounter. You are detained. This is not a consensual encounter. When I asked him what I was being detained for, he stated I already explained that to you. I asked him for, okay, sorry. Uh, I asked him for filming a child. He said for filming a child. I asked in public, he asked me why you're, why you not. Were. Okay, sorry. It's been a long day. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not your I fault. appreciate you though, sir, I really do. Not a problem. And it's not to harass you. I just want to make sure that it's clear. I, I get what you're doing. That's why I'm trying to catch myself and not read too fast. Okay. I can do that too sometimes. Thank you, sir. Where were you not filming me talking to that child? I asked him if I was free to go, and he said you were not free to go. I asked if I was under arrest, and he stated his supervisor was on the way and that I could speak with him. I asked him what reasonable articulable suspicion of a crime that I commit and he said so why do I continue to answer that question specifically if I've already made that statement several times and I said because you haven't stated a law that says I can't film a child in the public he stated that it is illegal to film a child yes it is then said it is illegal to film a child to film children it is he then ready to dispatch to run a 
29 p on me. His supervisor arrived and he told the supervisor, so I stepped out with him because he's filming a juvenile. And he repeated himself because the supervisor wasn't out of his cruiser the first time and didn't hear. I guess I lost you. <laughs> uh, where was I? I'm sorry. Um, uh, out of the cruiser for the. F I remember the supervisor in the 29th. The supervisor arrived and he told the supervisor, so I stepped out with him because he was filming a juvenile. Then he repeated himself because the supervisor wasn't out of his cruiser the first time and they didn't hear him. I told the supervisor he detained me, is what he meant to say. Fort 462 confirmed that he did detain me and told the supervisor that's why the lights are on. The supervisor stated that I was free to go. I told the supervisor he detained me. Officer Horton 462 stated to the supervisor, no, I detained him. Then he said, I'm investigating, trying to find out why he is filming a child. I asked the supervisor filming a child in public. It's illegal. His supervisor did not answer my question, but asked me, why are you filming a child? I stated I was filming his officer, but that is that his officer was claiming I was filming the child. Court 462 says, I stated. His supervisor told me, just be gone. I said, what do you mean, just be gone? He detained me illegally. His supervisor then released me from detention. I, I advised Officer Horton 462 that he illegally detained me, and then Horton 462 told his supervisor I had given so much leniency to him. I asked his supervisor for his name and badge number, and he told me Spartan 462. Officer Horton never advised me my rights, my right to remain silent during the whole interaction. It's Spartan ZH 469, not 462. Uh, sorry. That's all right. Uh, all right. Thank you for correcting me. All right. So, are you making this as your official statement? Is that In unless you'd like to write it down, or I don't know. Okay. Um, I, I would like to consider it my formal complaint. Okay. I mean, I see you signed it. So let me ask you this. Um, and, and obviously, I didn't have a problem reading it because it kind of helps me verify. So do you swear and affirm that everything in here is, is your statement and it's accurate to the best of your knowledge? Yes, I do, sir. Okay. All right. That kind of helps make it count. Dot the T's, make it a formality so it's an official statement. Okay? Thank you. I appreciate that, sir. Um, is there anything that, that you can think of you need to add to it, want to add to it? or? No, not at this time. Um, I just need um, the incident number but I can get that from them and everything so that I for, for my lawsuit that I'm going to file okay all right but at this time you're wanting to make a formal complaint I'm making a formal complaint today yes sir and I just got to clarify who specifically you want to make the complaint on officer Horton um, ZH 462 okay all right um, and then my investigative mind the wills are turning Obviously, we know you, you video. Do you have video of this encounter? Yes, I do. I don't have it with me, though. Okay. I did upload it on my um, YouTube account, though. If you need a copy of it, I can bring it to you. You need an unedited copy of it. All right, yeah. sir. It has to be unedited. Not, uh, I, I, not against right. you. I know I've seen some of your videos. I know you'll edit them, and, and that's perfect. And the only fun. reason I do edit most of them is because of time constraints. No, I get um, that. It's but I do us. upload sometimes when I need to prove innocence I upload the whole video and I believe I did upload the whole video on that okay. actually the two videos from okay. both cameras okay. I'd done the 360 that seen me pass the officer and then I turned around to see where he was going and he detained that child and was talking to that child with his trunk open mm -hmm. the child had a dog he was kneeling with the child um, he was doing some unusual activities with that child and had his trunk open for a long time with that child. So I wanted to make sure that I got that. Okay. Yeah, no. I, and, and that's why I'm, I'm specifying I don't see any problems with you getting us the video. But I'm just specifying for the purposes of this complaint that we need the unedited. Okay. Um, because it's like a criminal case. Is, is still how we have to treat it, even if it's complaint against officer, because we need the we need every detail so that we can pick through stuff and see where he's made violations and whether to substantiate them or yes, sir, or whatever. 
Okay. Um, I can maybe do it today if it doesn't start raining again, okay. but it may be tomorrow. Okay. Let me Give me a case, Say side note because I know you're videoing in case you want to edit it or whatever. Um, how's your wife and daughter doing? They're doing okay. okay. Uh, I know I talked to them after that one incident. Yeah. They expressed some concern. And just I don't want to talk about that incident with you, sir. That's fine. Nope. I, I'm not trying to get into it. I, just, I, I understand. Just trying to be human and yeah. You know, just trying to make sure your family's doing okay. I mean, obviously, you seem to be doing reasonably well. I'm still alive, but I'm on, in pain every day. And that incident cost me a lot more pain. I hate to hear that. And I couldn't go to the hospital because I'm trespassed and I didn't want to get another charge from that piece of shit, Rolando, or whatever his well, name is. Let me clarify something on that for you. If you have a medical emergency and if you've been trespassed from the hospital, they cannot, we, we, we can't. You say that, but I don't trust you all. That's your Especially problem. after Officer, um, I can't remember his name, spoke about me to those people at the hospital. Okay. I should have filed lawsuits against that also, but I'm not, again, I'm not here to make money. Okay. I'm not doing this to make money. Well, I get what you're doing. You're just trying to make sure that officers are doing what they're supposed to and treating people fairly. Plus, yes. I'm trying to show that it doesn't matter whether I defend myself or not. If people assault me, mm -hmm. I, I'm the one that gets in trouble. I'm treated unfairly, and it's not right. So I will uh, definitely make the complaint. Um, I'm familiar with you, so I don't have to bother with all your uh, personal information. If you've already got it on file, I'll save you that burden. Um, I wrote my email on there so that when you're, you can send the response to the email, if you would. Yeah. Um, you got my card. Yes. Um, I put my name on there. Um, I, I put what I pulled a case number. Um, this will actually be a uh, formal complaint. It's not going to be like a regular re report, like um, somebody broke a window or something, or something like that. This I understand. is going to be a complaint that will go up the chain to Internal Affairs, and I. I this is going to be the end of my part of it. Okay, um, so there is going to be an Internal I, Affairs investigation, I, I, or. I, I'm going to tell you, this is above me. Okay. So I'm not getting into that. I'm going to write it up. I'm going to send it up to them, and then they will have to do their investigation. And okay, I was planning to make one of those too, but I didn't know if I had to. Well, or I was... if you tell me you want to make a formal complaint, that's what you're doing. Okay. Okay. And Thank that's, you. That's what I'm doing for you. Um, I'm, you know, in our personal lives, we all have enough stuff we deal with. And when I'm at work, the last thing I want to do is add more stuff to my, yeah. my plate. You know what I mean? So. If it's not mine to deal with, I'll do what I got to do and, and, and let the next person handle it that, that it's their, their responsibility. Okay. So, Thank you, Officer Ray. Okay. Have a nice day, sir. You too, sir. If you have anything else, definitely, you know, come back and let us know, okay? Okay, thank you.